Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. I'm Neon, I'm with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're not really angry tonight. Oh, well, give me time. <laughs> okay, we <laughs> have Nice young. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about... Well, we're going to talk about Marvel Comics and Disney. We've talked about this uh, before. I've been talking about it off and on on our uh, blog. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about the relationship between... The Walt Disney Company and Marvel Comics. And uh, here's the thing. Um, today was a big news day uh, in the world of uh, Disney Disney Parks news. Disney is announcing Get Mad. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm glad you get, get mad. He sees me, he's already seen me get mad. Yep. yep. You will yield to me. <sighs> now, no one else will know what that means, but he will. Go ahead. He will. Yeah. Well, and thank you, everybody, for uh, for coming in. Okay. Anyway, um, go back to the topic. Back to the topic. The topic is uh, today, in particular, last couple of weeks, hey, Disney has been announcing a lot of cutbacks. A lot it, of cutbacks. It's in been parks. going on for a couple months, yeah, but it really got they really ramped it up. Uh, price hikes and cutbacks all of a sudden. Yeah. Um. And it, it's out of left field too. Like a lot of these weren't really announced. Disney had already raised uh, prices in. I think it was February. February. They do it pretty much year. every February. That's yeah, when the price yeah. increase comes. Everybody knows it. Now they're already doing some other things. Like they started charging for parking at the hotels and some other things like that, right. which did not meet with a warm <laughs> did, reception. Did not go well. But it wasn't. There's was a well. couple things here and there, but it wasn't too terrible. And then the last like month, it's even like two or three weeks. It's like boom. Price increases, like tons of them. Yeah, and I think that this actually, okay, because now for those of you who uh, don't quite understand the relationship the Walt Disney Company has with, with Parks and Resorts, um, Parks and Resorts is like the, the golden goose. Like it, it, they use the revenue, the profit from Parks and Resorts, which is almost always profitable mm -hmm. year after year after year, uh, to basically bankroll other parts of the company yeah, to usually, make up deficits usually they're compartmentalized compartmentalized pretty well but uh i know that they've used the the parks and resorts in the past to you know pop everything else up if yeah. other divisions were doing poorly it's okay the company as a whole was still propped up now fast forward to now yeah th this is <laughs> so, a little concerning now last year they did have a round of layoffs in uh abc television yeah um we did have last year uh you know at marvel we you know axel alonzo got gone at this time mm -hmm. at pretty much exactly the same time of year disney's fiscal year ends september 30th right uh every year and here we are a couple weeks after that and the cutbacks are coming the price hikes are coming it wasn't just cutbacks um, and they've been rolling out some cutbacks for the last couple of weeks now, but they jacked up uh, a bunch of prices. They've um, already raised prices on certain like drinks, like water and snacks and that kind of stuff. Pretzels are seven dollars. Yes, they've raised seven the prices dollars. on that. Churros are um, almost seven dollars now too. Yeah, so they've already been doing that, and and then today they had they, they initiated a new ticketing system. Which instead of having a, a rate based on the season, mm -hmm. it now becomes depending on the day. But some bought, you know, program to decide yeah. what days are more valuable than others. Um, so the ticket prices now have gone up again because of that. But it also raised the magic bands. It raised uh, parking again. Yeah, and th these were not announced. These changes were like very. They seem like they're very last minute. And I have to wonder if there wasn't like uh, two scenarios. Like if the if the year ends on such and such uh, dollar amount, we're gonna do this. If it ends below those expectations, and we're gonna do you know Plan B. And this seems to be Plan B because it, it was just like bam out of left field. I mean yeah. even the even the the ticket price now uh, we have an article coming later tonight I think uh, one of our contributors is working um, on it yeah is working on it. he said that uh, you know you're looking at the average of like ten to twenty percent increase based on the new pricing for tickets okay. so we're talking all these numbers but what does it mean well first of all hi everybody and hey Terry uh, so first of all what does that what what do you think this means what do I think it means I think it means okay so I I've been saying There's a couple things going yeah on here. I've been saying this for a while and some people are like well it's because attendance is down if you've been to the parks lately That's, I don't think attendance is down the att oh my god you can't go on to to rides that normally are walk-ons I mean have been absolutely insane well, the theory um, is though there is a theory about this and the theory is is that they have not they aren't staffing them as much as they should be so they aren't putting as many people through as quickly as they used to That's they start they started the cutbacks at the, yeah this apparently this hey. this happened at the hey everybody um this started at the uh beginning of the year when they started cutting back on uh staffers on cast members wearing the rides which backed everything up uh but the parks were very busy january and it's february they were very year. busy 
I don't know how the attendance is down. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it is. <laughs> I, I'm speculating. I think, uh, I think a lot of this goes back to Fox, the Fox acquisition, I think that has a lot to do which with it. people freaking told me I was crazy when I told them that this was going to happen. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm salty about this. People said, I speculated like two years ago that Disney would do anything they had to do to make sure they got Fantastic Four and the X-Men. And oh, yes. They called you all kinds of names. They called me all kinds of You, you don't know idiot. anything about blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, trust me. After after Avengers Infinity War, I swear they to God. They were hiding stuff in there. They were already, indicate. it was already in the works. And people were telling me I was freaking nuts. I put I put articles out there. I'm like, guys, the writing's on the wall. The Fantastic Four coming to the MCU um, because of this, 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 and this. And Disney's got plans. Trust me. You're just full of crap. And it freaking happens. So there you go. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Now, see, um, he's not, he, that was not me getting angry. It's you getting angry. No, I, I. I do have alcohol, though, so that might, you know. Uh, yeah. Well, um. No, I'm not trying to make anybody. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to make anybody feel like a jerk. Uh, no, but uh, you know what I'm saying is, you know, looking at this, I'm going to speculate. One, they're paying a hell of a lot more money for Fox than they anticipated. Uh, oh, because we know they Comcast did. jacked Comcast the really price up, and up. I don't think Comcast had any real interest in Fox. I think it, like you said, it was, it was a like shill, a bidding. shill bidding. They used, they, shill on, bidding. they used to do it on eBay all the time back in the day, where you'd have a partner. And you were selling something and your partner would keep bidding on it to raise the prices up. And they called it shill, build, shill bidding, which is, you know, you're allowed to do that. And I think it probably was a matter of, well, they're going to, we're, we're going to make them pay as much as we have to, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and Comcast, I mean, Comcast owns rival universal. So no fan art. I didn't know we had Shira fan art. Where did you send it? I don't know. Well, we'll have to look, we'll have to we'll look have for to look it. For it. We'll now look we're going to pop I'm open. Sorry, I'm we'll pop and open the Seagram's. It's just a Seagram's. It's nothing hard. It's nothing hard. Um, so, anyway, anyway I think sorry, that, right that, that is I the apologize. sign. This is, Geeky's got her. There goes <laughs> the cap. Geeky's got her anger in a bottle here. Just wait till she gets her fuzzy navel. It's not, I mean. Fuzzy navel. That's not, not very. It's not that bad. I, I actually can hold my liquor better than that. Anyway. <laughs> So I make it sound like ooh, two sips and it's gonna be yeah, a party. So it's not like that. So Comcast ran the price up because Comcast owns Universal, Universal's fierce rival um, to Disney and the theme park arena too. And um, so Disney is paying like twice as much as they anticipated to have to pay for Fox. Well, they've got that and they've got their streaming service coming out. Streaming service, they are like literally betting the farm yeah. on this thing. And I am, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm a Disney fan, but I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know how this is going to really go either. And, and the go. streaming service and this acquisition of Fox were the two things they spent a ridiculous amount of money on. I know they're also building a brand new like headquarters in New York City. And there's a bunch of other things that are you know going on. And I guess they had to give some concessions. Um yeah, I guess they had to give some concessions. I um, I'm not really sure what's going on, but I so guess over Sky Europe, TV, yeah, yeah, over Europe they had to give some concessions for the antitrust. Yeah. So there's some there's a bunch of things going on, and they're not getting Fox News. Uh, Fox News. Well, they is can't have Fox News because they're they on ABC. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so that's going on. Those two things alone, I think, are enough to drive it up. So what happens when you when this happens? Underperforming places. Uh, cause things like this to happen. Like if since everybody isn't pulling their weight on their departments, everybody else has to pay for it. Well, I wonder what the, what places are not pulling their weight. Hmm. Yeah, Disney and I've been again. This is another thing I've been saying for at least two years now. Disney is going to start. I personally think, and again, this is speculation. Speculation on my part. As a disclaimer, yes, we just honestly knowing, do not know anything from just Disney. knowing how. Uh, the Walt Disney Company. They don't tell us anything. They don't tell us anything. We just have to they piece say, stuff get your together. Butt down and we've got people that. that squeal too. So we got a lot of squealers that come mm-hmm. to us. That's so. not us. We, we, That's not we're us. Good. That's, well, we'll listen. But yeah, the squealers. So uh, I, I think they're going to look to outsource more of their comics. This is already happening. Again, people told me I was nuts. But here we have a Spider-Man comic uh, and you know, coming from IDW. Mm-hmm. Yes, what you said. Oh, someone you know? said it was Disney set up for Monopoly. I'm not sure yet. Um, I think uh, Park Place and Boardwalk. They have a Boardwalk. They have a boardwalk. But not <laughs> a park place yet. If they get the park place, there's a park place. That's a Polynesian. Um, the Polynesian I'd worry. Park place. They do have a boardwalk, though. So it's possible. Are they? Um, I think now they already, because now they're getting into, now they're getting into, as long as they keep it entertainment, I think that's part of the reason they couldn't they couldn't acquire Fox 2. Um, so anyway, oh, Captain Cummings is in here. Hey, yeah, Captain he Cummings. Yeah, he earlier, yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah, these live stream services are going to be over more. I agree with that. I think you know, it was so weird because... We uh, became cord cutters a couple of years ago, and we subscribed to Hulu's 
uh, TV now. It's like 40 bucks a month or whatever because mm-hmm. we didn't want to pay the $150 a month or whatever for Drama TV. Drama Fever because, yeah. Yeah. But now there are so many of these streaming services, you know, 5 10 $15 a month now that we're basically paying as much as we did for Direct TV. Mm-hmm. And our kids just watch YouTube anyway. And they just watch YouTube anyway. They don't even watch like so, real TV. Um, anyway, back to your point, which you were getting a little point, place. My point is Disney is going to start cutting costs and i'm thinking well they're raising expenses they're they, raising they, they, in the parks it lose. will start with the parks it will start with the parks but remember last year this is the time that axel alonzo got gone um the yeah, right, you said that already. yeah and i think that disney the way it usually works the way it usually works the walt disney company is third quarter if you're not pulling your weight there are ultimatums yes. given mm-hmm. and you basically you've got one more quarter to hit this goal and if you do not there will be actions as i understand it axel alonzo knew his time was running short um yeah. this disney owned the simpsons now i'm not sure there's a couple there's, things about there are that. some things that one, they yeah. haven't got the whole thing through yet and two i was thinking that fox was one of the stipulations was they kept the simpsons because it was like branded on there and comcast I has the simpsons i, land I, and I think that that's that simpsons they were keeping i'm not 100 yeah. percent sure on that but i want to say i think the simpsons was being kept by fox but i'm not 100 percent sure um but anyway go ahead what you're saying yeah so um you know, again last year Axel alonzo got gone at this time just a couple of days ago uh, we had uh, Star Wars uh, Marvel Comics freelancer Chuck Wendig got gone. Now, that might be partially because of bad press. It might be timing. He, he might have have uh, been a victim of this. He might have been a victim. It might be a case of where Disney is reaching out to Marvel Comics right now and telling them you need to uh, trim the fat. You need mm-hmm. to cut dead weight. And people like Chuck, who are shooting their mouths off in public become easy targets easier targets yes, because they were announcing voted... books a few days prior so i don't think it yeah was... this was not this was a very last minute thing and this again the timing um the timing is is you know coincides with all this other stuff happening mm-hmm. uh with disney you know october is like the the bloody month for the Di- bloody like, month of like october all the layoffs all that usually that happens, happens in october. to work out pretty well didn't it it's halloween yeah, so, and it's the bloody month of um, october you know, I am just, I'm really thinking you're going to see more. Again, Disney is going to try to, they're either going to cut underperforming divisions completely, which they've done, they've, they've done before. Done. They've cut profitable. They've cut profitable companies I mean, companies uh, Disney before. Infinity was kicking right oh, yeah, but Infinity it wasn't was doing, doing well enough. Right. And so it was gone. Right. Um, so, you know, it, you see that. So I think, I think it's a combination. They, I think it's a combination of, they got, they got too into deep with the, with the Fox deal. They have this Disney streaming service that they're sinking a lot of money in. Now that that might pay off for them, but it's going to take probably a couple years for that to pay off for them. It's going to take at least and I think at, and at four beyond four years. the whole they're 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 putting a lot of money into all kinds of uh, exclusive uh, content as well for the streaming. Oh my service. god, yeah, like the live action Star Wars is going to be so crazy they're expensive. putting like oh, billions probably into this yeah. uh, into the streaming service. So you have all that money allocated there. They have all these new expansions they're doing. They have Galaxy's Edge at both Disneyland and Galaxy's Edge at Disney World, which now there's rumors that Disney World won't even open until, like, the last couple days of fall in December of next year. Yeah. Um, so they have all these park expansions. They keep adding new expansions. I know just Disney World alone, they're doing uh, Galaxy's Edge, uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Wearaway. They have several different uh, hotel uh, things they're working on. Guardians of the Galaxy, Ratatouille, um, mm-hmm. the Gondolas. There's, that's just with Disney World right now with the projects they've got. Um, that doesn't count Disneyland. And there are other parks across, you know, around the world. So you have all those expenses. And then you have things like Marvel Comics, you know, not selling. And then you have yeah. things like A Wrinkle in Time, which was Bombed. complete, you know, bomb. And then you Solo have Solo, which underperformed drastically. Yeah, and, and these kind of things. And normally what happens when, when they have, you know, mulligans like this is that Parks and Resorts makes up the extra money. And I think this is why you're seeing Disney squeezing more pennies out of parks and resorts because they have to make up the deficits you know that they had with these other projects it's all i mean disney's compartmentalized but they they still go to the uh, parks and resorts well wasn't well, it to, all to often all. reported as like one number usually like the well yeah for the walt disney company but yeah. then they break it up into divisions, right, they have divisions but I'm saying, and, yeah. so you might not know the exact n- m- numbers for marvel because it's rolled in with other things oh marvel is part of yet yeah, marvel is part of publishing division, it's part of disney publishing which would be like hyperion and stuff as well right and you will never you will never know exactly how much money marvel comics makes because they have it set up uh, in such a way that it's not like IDW where they are a standalone company and they have to you know report uh, quarterly um, with uh, Marvel Comics as part of Disney Publishing. They just report the whole publishing division. So Hyperion could be making money 
Right, but Hyperion. Marvel probably Comics is. doesn't make a movie. Um, how uh, do you say it? Arik Hotfuls? How do you say your name? Anyway, Guardians of the Galaxy building Epcot is ginormous. I know, it's, it's so big. It's really big. I'm worried it's going to be a problem because. Spaceship Earth is kind of like the the big symbol of Epcot, and it's like the big big thing at Epcot. And this thing's it's going to be like as big as, or not taller than that. And now they're talking they might take Spaceship Earth offline for a couple of years to do another renovation to it yeah. as well. But I don't think they're going to do that until after have Guardians open. But anyway, yes, the building is gigantic, and I yeah. Anyway, go ahead back to what you're saying. Um yeah, so you know we did a series of articles uh, last year, which is sort of what kind of got us into the comics. Got you into trouble. Got, got me into you trouble. into trouble. I yeah, they, they, like, they leave me out of it for whatever reason. Uh, because I, I I speculated um last summer I speculated last summer that you know that the tea leaves you know yes, the tea leaves Beverly well that'll still be open the club cool still open. Oh my god I love that see okay uh. Ramstein. The only Stop place. It. The, there are only Leave two places. There are only two places in the world you can get Beverly. We one is before. is yeah. One is Walt Disney World at Epcot, and the other one is the Coca Cola Museum. Because you can't buy Beverly. There, you're gonna go Coca Cola Museum. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Freaking love. Board. Freaking so anyway, love. Beverly. I'm gonna go back on topic. Last year, he wrote an article basically like, "Oh crap! If Marvel if Marvel sales are tanking and Marvel goes under, that could take the whole comic industry down with it because Marvel and DC pretty much prop up most of the comic book industry yeah. at that time." And um, and he, I, I, he wouldn't be surprised if, if Marvel's numbers kept going down if they wouldn't outsource the comics to places like IEW and yeah. all that. Not knowing about everything going on. Um. Yeah. No. I. I. You know. I have a pretty good feeling. I, I. I would like to think that you know having you know done done work you know whatever. Uh, you know with Disney, I don't know whatever's going on, but just you get a vibe for like how they do things, you know. So. Yeah. But uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's, what's going to happen. I have no idea, but it is odd that they're, they've got all these cuts, you know, coming. It is. I mean, it was, it was interesting enough when they, they end up paying more for this stuff and then they did start outsourcing like Spider-Man to IDW. Mm. And now these people are like, suddenly they're being called out and then they were announcing books a few days ago. Now they're telling them, and it wasn't just this person, um, that, that, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kane. Oh, Chelsea Kane. Chelsea Kane. Yeah, see, this she is... She kind of, you know, got her book. Now, that could be... We don't know if it's because of this. That could be because of many things. But then that suddenly gets cut. And, you know, it's just interesting. And then all of a sudden, the tickets and all this other prices start just going, going up going for up. no reason. Like, a lot. Yeah, and it's all, it's all the same time. That's Parking what I'm saying. Like, up. like I think... You know, I think that these freelancers made themselves easy targets. But I think Marvel might have been told to vote people off the island to save money to cancel projects to save money and these people just made it very very easy you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. to like oh this one shoots his mouth off um and this one shoots her mouth off and uh you know we're not gonna do a vision book and i that's... wouldn't have thought anything of it except that the fact that the both well not just that like they were announcing the one book for yeah. the guy they were announcing it just a couple days ago a few days ago before he got he got this whole thing happen and then for her it was pretty much on schedule and then it wasn't and they were like several books into it so it was it was i mean i wouldn't have thought that was anything related to this except you know all that yeah and it's all happened within like the last month which again this is like the this when disney makes decisions it's september october early november and then they kind of knock off for the rest of the year start 2019 fresh so if you're gonna see heads roll you're gonna see some restructuring you're gonna see it this Mm -hmm. month or next month yeah and and we're already seeing freelancers get gone and you know again i do think their behavior had something to do with it but i also think it just made it easier for marvel to make those decisions on who to cut i think they're probably Again, pure speculation, but I think they're probably being told to cut people, and the people who well, complain need, the they most. They need to get. They're going to be. They're going to be told. Yeah. You guys need to start performing, because um, we're you know we're lacking here, and they're lacking in some of these movies. Um, and I think they're being told like you need to up this because if you don't up it, you know they can only get. Yeah. They only can raise prices of the park so much. And someone, oh, I was going to read a comment, but you clicked. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. And I lost it. Oh well, uh, I don't remember what it was about the about the comic book movies yeah i i think disney when they we talk comics we're you're talking comics you're meaning like the books i think when disney thinks comics they're thinking the the mcu and that's what they care about more they i mean yeah they the books are you know okay it's like a nice loss leader but yeah. i think that what they care about is they want the ip and they want the the movie movie stuff the comics are just there um but there i wouldn't be surprised if they didn't outsource all of it yeah, I think, uh, you know, because, I mean, it's just how Disney rolls. I mean, now, you know, they, they're, traditionally they've outsourced all their comics in America anyway. Mm-hmm. And even overseas, they've got Egmont, you know, doing the comics. So it's kind of weird that Marvel, again, I think they let Marvel alone because they really didn't have to pay attention to it. 
but now that they're looking to trim the fat everywhere they can, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I think they're probably going to look at Marvel and be like, hey, there's like 50, 60 salaries we could. Right. And you if know, you're out there causing trouble, you're going to get, you're going to, it's like waving a red flag saying, hey, 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 cut me. Yeah. And that's, hey, a, look I, over I think here, that's, just, I, honestly, I think this was going on. That's what I think happened with uh, Chuck Wendig. I do believe that you know, his mouth did get him into trouble. But I also think there's probably a mandate from Disney to start, you know, cutting some corners. So those loud freelancers are getting gone. Mm -hmm. Um, Disney, they don't like bad publicity, but they're not going to a lot of times bend to the whims. I think of just a hand, you know, some people complaining about, you know, somebody's behavior on social media. Usually it depends on, depends on the, I mean, comics they don't really pay that much attention to. I just don't think unless it's, I mean, unless it's something that's really, really mainstream publicity, I don't think they really, it doesn't really, they don't really need to pay attention. If it hits the media, then they pay attention. Sometimes because some of the stuff hits the media and they didn't pay attention. Yeah. So so I don't know. It's, 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 comics is not, it's, you know, the Marvel comics. I mean, it's so funny because I think a lot of these Marvel comics, uh, freelancers have a very, um, have a very skewed uh, uh, perception of where they fit in the the totem pole, mm-hmm. and I can tell you that like Marvel Comics is one of the, the like the last concerns Disney has. I mean, they're they're working on so many, so many, so so uh, many bigger projects right, right now. Right. That and sorry, the alcohol is kicking in. Uh, they, I just don't think that they're really paying that much attention to Marvel. They will if they have to if there's bad press. And really, I think you know again they're looking they're dig in the couch cushions right now. I think to pay for Fox and I think Marvel could, I think you're, I think they would totally streamline Marvel um, because it's Probably. just not, it's not generating any meaningful revenue for the company. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it really isn't the movie. Is they need to make up money somewhere, especially if it, you only, you can only get money from the theme park so much until people stop coming or people stop, you know, be willing to stop. They're not willing to pay that. Um, and then they're going to have to look someplace else because you can't you can't get more out of it. You know, I think also I think to be fair, some of the price raising increases, I think, for food and stuff, I think it's because they're trying to get people to do the dining plan uh, as a yeah, savings, yeah. Uh, even though there's not really much savings. Um, I think I think that's another reason why they do, it, which isn't tied to this at all. So they do it for a couple different reasons. Now, I mean, I'm gonna, you guys are going to be all like, how dare you? But I actually like Disney, <laughs> but that's because we go to Disney World all the time because we like it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I, I do think they, that they really should do something about some of the things going on out there. Yeah, Marvel and Lucasfilm just seem to be, like, just Yeah, I'm floating. really surprised they haven't done anything uh, about this. The, and I said before, they do not, they do not behave like Disney companies. Um, and as far as, you know, James, somebody said about James Gunn. Yeah, they, they did uh, kind of, but that was also mainstream, and that mainstream media, you know, it hit that. But it was also, we're talking the movies. The movies, you know, they can get they can't get away with as much i guess because the movies are so much higher profile like people don't care about some random penciler or some random inker or colorist or writer on a comic that sells ten thousand copies no. they don't care um but you're the director of a movie that makes a billion dollars yeah they're gonna they're gonna care they're gonna care and you break a record they're gonna care you know because that's where they're getting their money from i mean that in the theme parks so yeah how much now because because no one went to solo we have to pay more to go to theme parks thank you everybody no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, well, no, it's it's not no, untrue. I'm, it's true. I mean, it's not untrue. But I and, mean, I understand why people didn't go. And uh, it still wasn't that bad. But anyway, go yeah, ahead. it was it was better than I expected it to be. Um, it is very expensive, but I love it so much. Yeah, it's yeah. We I mean, we're there we're there all the time. I mean, yes, we we are there all the time. It's, so. It becomes sort of like it's sort of like second home. We're at Disney World like all the time. And um, you know, it's it's it, you know, we hear things. We hear things. You know, I don't know how this is going to relate to. I hear things too, but I hear my medication to fix that. <laughs> But I don't know how this is going to affect Marvel. I just know that, you know, the theme parks are hugely important to Disney. If they're cutting the fat in the theme parks, are definitely going to cut, definitely going to cut other other places. Are the American parks filled with Asian tourists? Sometimes. Actually, you mostly see Brazilian tour groups. And they will drop yeah. tons of money at Disney. Uh, they've even talked about making some changes just to to uh, be more, you know, uh, what am I? What, I'm, I can't talk now because alcohol. Be a little more... <laughs> um, friendly to the brazilian the tour groups yeah well they're supposed to have a brazil uh pavilion Epcot. yes that's another rumor there might be a brazil brazil pavilion coming to the world showcase now okay northeast dymo asked will disney turn against uh quote-unquote sjw culture in general you you'd think they would here, but they're not here's, <laughs> so. here's a funny thing uh disney world uh if we want to talk politics disney world is in florida and i can tell you f- for a fact most of the people i know at disney world are republicans um that doesn't really have any bearing on the movies or on the the comics or anything it is a different division but but by and large disney world 
uh, the higher ups are are Republicans. I think what they're going to do is, to be honest with you, I think they'll, they'll cater to a certain point. And then when it gets to a place where they're not making money and they start actually understanding and realizing maybe that's why they're not making money, yeah. they'll, they'll switch gears. But until they actually ad- address that and realize it, they're not going to. Because we heard the one person wrote you and told you that they uh, that for what they're hearing is the Aladdin is going to be a lot. Yeah, we had somebody. Okay, so we talked, and I'm not sure if, if that person is in the comments. We talked about the uh, Disney Aladdin, how uh, the Mary Sue was upset with uh, the casting choice on Aladdin. They cast the girl, uh, oh, I can't remember her Naomi, name. Was Scott. Was Naomi her last Scott. Name? Naomi, Naomi Scott. Scott. Yeah. Uh, she was Kimberly in the Power Rangers movie. Um, she looks, I mean, she looks like Jasmine. They they cast her as Jasmine. The Mary Sue is upset because she wasn't uh, from the Middle East. She's actually and like I said, I, they didn't cast a real genie to play genie. And no, you know. and then it turns out it turns out the Aladdin's from Egypt and not Iraq. So, but he but he, was, <laughs> he lived in Canada. Most he of his did life. live so in Canada. He's Canadian. So, um, but some, he was born in Egypt. And somebody wrote, and I, I don't know the specifics, but they said that. Um, so this is gonna be a movie that apparently is not gonna please anyone. They said that there are some major plot changes. Uh, they saw a test screening. And um, it might might make some old school Aladdin fans unhappy. Not very happy, yes. Not very happy. Um, but they, yeah. So we'll see what happens. But I, until then, they actually put two and two together and realize, hey, when we get really, really, really strongly political with some of our movies, they don't do well. Maybe we should not do that as much. Um, I don't see much changing. Do you? I yeah. I don't know. I, don't I really know. don't. I don't know what's gonna happen. I do think. I do think though. I do think that marvel comics in particular now i think you know bob Iger's. and again we, we did this thing about bob Iger's um uh you know interview he gave a couple of weeks ago <laughs> did they cast a real monkey to play a boo oh sorry i hope so yeah because there are so many magically abled people out there that well, would love a chance to play a monkey the genie. to play a boo i know i know so? i think it's i think he's cg i don't know oh um, that's not right no, <laughs> so not a real monkey uh but yeah I, I don't know uh you know how this is gonna affect marvel i i do I just my my spider sense is going off, and the fact that these freelancers are getting gone now, um, and everybody's trying to be like it's Comicsgate. I, I, I don't think it's it's that in particular. I do believe that they are being told at Marvel to start cutting people, and, when and these people, people are, out are there easy screaming targets. Screaming and saying about eating poop covered boots yeah, and, know, baby, right? and, and killing babies yeah, um that's, yeah. that's gonna make the you know they're looking who should we cut oh you know it's gonna make it a lot easier yeah i, mean, I think cutting has more to do with sales numbers and numbers being down than it does uh people are you know we're right. saying oh we're coming you know we're, we're gonna do it because of comics gate they're blaming it all on comics gate yeah but i think if, if you were actually privy to the because i mean remember ike perlmutter is like besties with Donald Trump, okay. you know, when he runs you Marvel. Know, everything that goes wrong in this world yeah. is because of Comicsgate and because of misogynists and because of Nazis and because of uh, transphobes, racists, uh, and Geeky so on sparkles. and so on. Because, yes, that's right. I am single-handedly. Oh, no. Actually, I'm single-handedly oh, God, probably paying Disney to stay open because I give them a lot of my money. Anyway. Um, got gone oh, i try to say got gone i try to say got gone because i don't i don't want to be like shit canned fired to because usually like people you don't know sometimes they live on their own or they're fired unless they come out and say they're fired like if chuck wendig hadn't come out and said hey marvel fired me and here's how it happened well, that's why he did it he wanted to make a big stink about right. it um same as that uh, chelsea kane she just wanted to make sure everybody knew about it so that you could be mad at, at marvel and she will never work for another you division. say that and you know she'll probably get she'll never big. work anywhere anywhere she'll near disney they will, she's a woman disney can hold a grudge for a long time <laughs> you know true. people disney that can. burn them in public they absolutely can and i think she she's probably on the internal disney blacklist i don't even think she'll be able to get a job uh, fetching popcorn at disneyland at this point. So, I don't know. Um, oh, yes. Russian bots. That's right. Russian, yeah, bots, Russian bots, too. Um, so, you know, there's all that. You know, they're, it's, it's, it, there's, it's always somebody else's fault. I thought it was funny, though, because um, they were talking about, in that one article, they are talking about how all the names that these people that are on the side of Comicsgate. Because you already know, if you are not completely um, far, far left, you're automatically Comicsgate or a Nazi or both. And um, so they're blaming anybody who's not, like, 100% on their side. As They're calling everybody who's not that Comicsgate. And they were talking about the list of names they get called. They're going to list. And the thing is, truth is, I, I know they get called those names because I've seen people get called in those names. Heck, we got called some of those names because we said Solo wasn't too bad. Yeah. But um, I also have seen them call an awful lot of names as well. 
I mean, I see them sling shit right and left. So I'm just like, you yeah, know, yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of shit slinging on both sides. Uh, actually, so, Bob Iger is not a Republican. Bob Iger is a Democrat. And there was actually some talk that he would run for president in 2020. That's not going to happen. He's going to be with the Walt Disney Company until 2021. But he is a capitalist. Uh, absolutely, because you can't be the head of the Walt Disney Company. Which you can be a Democrat <laughs> and a capitalist, <laughs> capitalist at the same time. You can be a Democrat and and, and still believe in enterprise and business. Um I know because we do. So, uh, and we're Democrats. So, uh, well, we need of. left. We're not, Most, yeah. Mostly. My... We, 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 we have to pick a side because you have to vote that way, which is stupid. We have to pick that one, even though most of the time we just look at whoever thinks the best job and vote for them. Yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't either one less last time. Best. So, <laughs> it was it was a no win last time. Uh, anyway, go ahead. As long as we don't get blown up, I'm, I'm reasonably happy and my stocks keep I'm the up. white cis million. They'll probably tell you that. I'm a sock puppet account. Don't you know? Um, uh, neon controls me uh, i do i've got my hand up her ass right now it's really painful no, no i don't um I don't. no he, no seriously I, i'm waiting for him to be like it's like well, yeah of course you don't why did you clarify that they knew you were kidding well how can i'm holding this drink in, in this hand and this is my puppeting God. hand you have to clarify that i do because they that. can't see they can't see us so i have to they just see the little cartoon so i have to to elaborate i'm i'm holding a drink in my hand I, I won't give Iger the finger because i actually do like disney <laughs> so yeah, I'm we like, do. We i do. do i mean i don't agree with everything like they disney. do i i don't agree with how people within certain divisions are are behaving themselves right again marvel comics That's i'm not gonna label everybody at disney based on the behavior of a few you know i really am not because um I do think some of the choices being made with so much money in, in up in the air and raising the prices is probably not a good idea but I'm not going to blame everybody just because of the bad behavior of some. That's like blaming everybody, calling everybody, you know, this and that and everything else and Nazi and everything else because a couple of people behave badly. They fought in Comics Gate. Then you're going to label everybody in Comics Gate as, as terrible. And that's just not fair. Yeah. So. Um, so uh, let's see. Uh, Iger was on Trump's campaign team. No, actually, he was on Trump's advisory council or whatever. And then he quit over the uh, France deal. If I remember correctly, the uh, uh, pollution. Oh yeah, the yeah thing. environmental thing. Yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. So I'm not those cartoon. No, you got no. We're not actually. I, I know that's hard to believe, and you might have to sit down for that. But no. Neon, how do you get your voice that high when you speak geeky's words? Um, it's painful. Uh, but there is a, a drawer next to the desk, and I just slam my fingers in the drawer. Oh, your fingers, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, no, we're not those cartoons. cartoons <laughs> those are not actually. He's in Toontown Town with Roger Rabbit. <clears throat> I don't like Roger Rabbit, dang it. Did he wear the dip? Uh, yeah. So, um, anyway, I mean, this is just, yeah, this is just, uh, again, you know, kind of an armchair observation. Uh, I do think Marvel Comics is ripe for uh, the culling at this point. Um, you know, they really, truly don't bring any meaningful revenue to the mm -hmm. table. And I do From think that they're going to be, heard, they're gonna be mean, looked at intensely now because they need to make money up somewhere. And if you're not pulling your weight, they're going to come down because they can't they can't nickel and dime the guests at the parks forever. You know, it's not going to happen. Yeah, because they're going to hit a ceiling on on that. I mean, eventually they're going to get to the point where people aren't going to pay so much to go to theme parks. Um, what? So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I do I do believe that we're going to see some more cutbacks from Marvel. I think we're going to see more uh, <laughs> freelancers Sorry. let go. We're going to see more books get canceled, even if. Now, according to uh, Comicron, well, there goes a big truck. It's Russian bot. It's Russian truck. It's like Red, Red Dawn, like a truck full of Russians. Um, so even if even I don't like Roger Rabbit. However, I, I do like, like Jessica Rabbit. Rabbit. Wait. Not like I just I just thought she was cool. I wanted to be Jessica Rabbit. I would like for you to be Jessica Rabbit. I got the red hair. Yeah. I got the big. Yes, you parts. do. Parts. Um, I don't have the. I'm not that skinny though. That'd be great if I was. Nobody legs, is that though. skinny. Nobody is that skinny. Anyway, anyway. So, no, I just don't I think Roger Rabbit, this, I just, that movie always annoyed me. I don't know why. It just annoyed me. Anyway, what were we saying? Uh, I was <laughs> going to say comics. Or supposedly, Comicron said that comic sales are up. I, I personally Let's think, hope that's true. I don't see how. I mean, here's the thing. How are comic sales up when, like, all the stores are closing? Where are they selling these comic books? Online, probably. I, who are they? Hey, no, you know, this is through Diamond. Where are they selling these? It'd comic be good books? news if the comic sales are up, though. I think you know that'd be a good thing. Yeah, yeah, it would. It would be. Um, but yeah, I think Marvel. And uh, again, I've got you know I did some articles on on Marvel, which is kind of what got me in the trouble in the first place because I didn't know any of this uh, consumer pushback was happening in the comic book industry. That's right. I'm not bad. Know? I'm just drawn that way. 
Next work. time someone gets mad at me for my uh, Shira rants, I'd be like, I'm not bad. I was just drawn that way. Captain Cummings, comic sales are up this month or this year. Well, Comic Con just know. posted. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out to Comic Con. Uh, this is the first um, I've heard about it. So yeah, I looked at it earlier. Today. They're getting later and later, but God, I can't type now because I'm I'm busy. Tipsy. So I was doing other things today. You were actually doing work. I was, I was working, here pissing around with comic books. Uh, okay, so September. They said that according to Comicron, the recovery in the comic shop market gained steam in the third quarter of 2018 as September comics and graphic novels orders rose 4% over the previous year, allowing the three month period uh, to close up 6%. That's actually good. Significantly better than second quarter's 1% win. Uh, I'm trying to figure out though, like, how is this? But is this because they keep shipping books people that didn't order and stuff like that? Or is I this don't because know. it actually sold I, better? I think there might be some. You know, because I mean, the shops are closing, so there are fewer places to sell the comics, right? Fewer, fewer places ordering comics. I mean, I'm, I'm not 100 percent clear on. Yeah, sorry, uh, Lady Hawks. Like Kurt, your Jessica Rabbit would be problematic. You're right, she would be. Now she would be uh, flat chested, and she'd look like a boy uh, with short red hair because yeah. you know we're not allowed to have women looking like women. That's that's not okay. Look, when you bring when you bring the original heroes back, it, it actually sells uh, somewhat. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know what's going well, on. Well, that'd be a good thing, have... though, if sales are up, I think. Well, yeah. Oh, would be a Stranger good Things. That's part of the reason. Yeah, Stranger Things actually did really well. We bought it. We bought it. We didn't review it yet, though. You bought Stranger Things? I did. Oh, that's right. I saw you looking at it the other day. Yeah. I, you don't even know what you do half the time. I don't even know what I do half the time. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I do think that, I mean, even, with, even if the comic book industry improved dramatically, I think that, you know, Marvel Comics just doesn't bring any meaningful revenue to the table for disney and it's it's very possible that they, I think just, they just keep scale it for the back. name and for like any possible ip farming and that kind of stuff honestly but you know yeah well this okay slithering peanut this is actually supposedly going to change um comicron uh but with um oh my god uh was it nielsen's nielsen's was gonna start actually tracking sales to consumers or whoever tracks sales in BookScan, this BookScan is actually going to track, start tracking sales to consumers. I've heard, uh, I don't know exactly when that's going to start, but they're actually going to track sell through mm. of the book. So we'll find out how many books are actually uh, being sold versus how many books are just. Well, kind it'd be of interesting to compare the, the two shelves. different comp- two different numbers. It'd be interesting when they have the two different numbers that simultaneously come out just to compare the two to see if, if you're getting one story on one and one story on the other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it'd be kind of interesting to see the comparisons. The Captain Cummings is 4% even measurable. I think it is when you're trying to make a case for, uh, you know, to to prove to people that the comic book industry is not dying. Um, it's not flatlining. It's like, oh my God, we made an extra 1%. You know, it's, we're doing great. We're doing great this this quarter. Uh, yeah, I just think it's, I think it's a lot of number ones, a lot of uh, event yeah. comics and a lot of really overpriced comics. And uh, Wolverine's coming back. That helps. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, um, I don't know where else to go with this. To tell you the I truth. I mean, this is actually a very short, <laughs> it's kind of a very short stream. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just, I personally think that we're going to see some cutbacks at Marvel. I think that, uh, you know, again, just restating, I think that the freelancers that have gotten gone uh, were partially because of, you know, Disney probably telling them to let people go. Well, I'm sure if they said, you know, we have to, you have to like, you know, cut your staff by such a percentage or cut the budget by such a percentage. And then you have someone out there like waving red flags, like, you know, hey, you know, uh, killing babies and poop covered boots. I mean, of course, they're going to be like, yeah. well, this is, you know, this is a win win. We get rid of the, you know, that we get cut this guy and we uh, don't look so bad because he's going around yelling that people are killing babies. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, we got nuked. The stream got nuked. Oh, my God. That's right, um, you broke it. Way to go. Yeah. YouTube just hiccup. I don't know. I was having problems with it earlier. I was getting uh, 505 errors oh, yeah, and all kinds of weird it. Was not bad much. gateway and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, so. Oh, I don't think Disney would do that. They won't. They, we're not big enough to worry about. No, they're not going to. The, here's the thing. Actually, they do worry. Actually, they do. They, we do watch what we say, but it's funny. We have a complicated relationship with the Walt Disney Company. Let's just put it that way. It's more love than hate. Yeah, it's more love On than hate. On our side. Um, I don't know about their side. No, they, <laughs> so. uh, look, they don't care. At least the people we've talked to, they don't care that much about comic books. No. So, I, I mean, that's what I'm just saying. Like, this is not They're more like about us, the parks. And right. We are, the movies, we are, the we parks. Are big at, we are big on promoting the parks, and we get we get people to, to go to the parks. So, um, do us a favor and go to Disney parks. It helps us out. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep going to Disney. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Marvel 
Marvel uh, going forward. Let's see if we get some comments here. Someone who used to work in book retail as inventory manager, I want to see how these Scholastic sales are actually adding up. Mm -hmm. That, okay, Scholastic is a very complicated, yes, it uh, is. very complicated uh, situation um, because it depended a lot on the New York Times bestsellers list, which is gamed and gameable. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to bore people with the details of it, but you, the New York Times bestseller list can be gamed relatively easily, actually. Um, oh, there goes oh, the, the bots are trying to silence you. Yeah, the <laughs> Russians are trying to silence you. Drive by. Um, no, but uh, and actually, an independent uh, uh, YA author figured out how to game it, and she got all kinds of flack yes. for it. You basically have to buy a certain amount of books from a, from the right uh, bookstores. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, people who do book promotion, there are people who do book promotion for a living. Uh, they buy those books to make sure that they game the New York Times bestseller yeah. list. And even if you sell the units, uh, at, you know, it depends on whether or not the New York Times actually likes you. So well, yeah, it's not, but, it's a curated list. Well, yes, it's not it, a, an accurate reflection of sales. But it's easily, it's, it's easily be cheated and has been cheated many, many times. Yeah, In that instance yeah. you're talking about that, I remember too, it wasn't her. She actually had a publisher and the publisher did it and they bumped a, 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 a POC woman out of first place with her book. And then that's what, and then they had double fit because how dare they knock the other person out, which, you know, to be fair, and they all are buying the spots anyway. <laughs> so for all we knew that, that was cheated to begin with. I don't know. So, um, yeah, my channel's not coming up on that's weird. It's not coming up. I've got my iPhone here to, to check the number of people on, and it's not it's not loading for me. Uh oh, okay. what did we do? We I broke don't know. it. We broke it. It's too many people streaming. We broke the internet. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it's Ethan Van Skyver. I don't even know Ethan Van Skyver. That's that we don't. I we have don't no. Know I don't even know him. I've never. I've, I mean, I, I've never talked to him. I, I've never met him. Um, we used to do a lot of conventions. He's never been at conventions we've been at. Um, no, I don't know him. I don't know him. Oh, yeah, Columbus. I would love to live at the Haunted Mansion. I love the Haunted Mansion. It's my favorite thing. I love the Haunted Mansion. I'll ride that thing a hundred times. That's my favorite yeah, thing we, ever. Yeah, we were Haunted there Mansion. often. Oh, love it. But anyway, then again, I don't know what's going on. With so the anyway, you were going on about oh, that's Scholastic. Scholastic. So the thing about yeah. Scholastic is Scholastic also puts a lot of marketing behind certain people. That's why mm. certain books have better sales than others. They promote them to every book fair, and I don't know they ever post those numbers. Um, they started. It, okay, it comes from them, so who knows what's valid or not? They used to no book scan. Book scan, book does scan it. picks does up. Book scan? Yeah, book yeah. scan picks it up. Now they actually it's so weird because Raina Telgemeier's books are always touted as being bestsellers. She was not in the book scan uh, list because they have a list that they send out to retailers. Mm -hmm. She wasn't in the list for years. Now last year I think she was on there, and I think she sells about one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand uh copies of a but book that's a interesting year. she was on the sellers list without having a book scan you know i, I don't list. understand that's it depends odd. on it depends on if they categorize the book i think as a graphic novel or a, a kids or, or middle okay. grade book and i think her books are actually even though they're comic books i think they categorize them as like a young adult or a middle grade honestly uh, if book. you were if it was if i was going to give you a recommendation and you want to do like middle grade type books i would i would do hybrids i think those yeah. are a better way to get in there than doing a graphic novel I would, I definitely consider hybrids uh, if you're thinking about doing that because those ones seem to do better and they seem to count more if for whatever reason. There is an article out here on the Observer, um, and I'll put a link here. It basically, uh, says sign into chat. Uh oh, why am I not signed in? Are we still going? I don't know. The hope this is all working. We don't even know. <laughs> so we'll find out it's like it's going for some people and not for others yeah. uh as far as we know we're still here yeah we're it still looked like real. we signed out at some point i don't know what happened that's weird um, anyway hmm. we're gonna post either way so yeah we're on the air okay, okay well, so i don't good. know what's going on uh, but the new york times yeah the best sellers list it, it can be gamed it is gamed there are people who actually for a job uh, game the New York Times bestseller list. I don't know now. Scholastic. They also have the book fairs, which gives them kind yes, of an unfair book, advantage. They have the book orders in the know. book fairs, and they really do pr promote certain books in those. Because uh, I see the book fair or the I ran book fairs, and I see the flyers for the for the books the, the book orders, and they are definitely promoting certain IPs, certain authors, certain books. Yeah, no, they definitely do. Yeah. So. Um, you know, and this is this is just kind of like if you're in the publishing industry, which we actually were, we're talking to a lot of people, and and this is kind of par for the course. They actually tell you a lot of times when you get your advance, 
uh, to make sure you go get a book publicist. And mm-hmm. a lot of times those publicists will actually buy copies of your book or, or that promotional agency well, they, will buy I, copies of your book. I've seen people talk about how they save money from like their, their crowdfunding or whatever or their advance to go and buy their own books to raise, you know, to, to raise it up on the bestsellers list. Yeah. And then I'm like, what do you do for those books? But okay. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, why is the video unavailable? That is I don't weird. Know. Well, let's keep talking. We'll yeah, we're just going to keep talking. Maybe there's something wrong because my app well, is we're like... we're going to wrap it up soon anyway. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up here pretty soon. Hopefully um, this doesn't happen on Thursday because Thursday, we're going to do another live stream on Thursday night, but we're going to do a throwback Thursday and we were going to do like 80s, like Halloween, like commercials and... You know, things like that, like from the 80s. Oh, yeah. Time. We'll, we'll, yeah, we were watching some the other night. It was a lot of fun. They had all kinds of crazy, uh, crazy old commercials. But, um, yeah, I mean, just to kind of wrap this up, if we don't know if this is We never got a Shira. We never got a Shira video back either. No, they're going to hold. Okay, so, yeah, the Shira video they got. Yeah, I think DreamWorks is going to hold on to it or sit on it until the very last day. I think they have until November 3rd to, to say something. And if they don't, they'll just. You know, but at that point, the show will be dropping like a couple days later. So I think they're just sitting on it to make sure that there's no damage. Done. But it's too late. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not just us, guys. It's not just us. There's a lot of people not happy with Shira. Okay. Um, so anyway. yeah, I, I do. I would look for some cuts at uh, Marvel. Uh, that would be my. And I'm I'm expecting personal... I'm expecting to have to do something with Lucasfilm too because um, Solo did not do well. No. And well, they are. They're cutting back on the. They're cutting back on the number of movies. I think they're waiting until episode nine comes out. See how right. that does. Because they're going to make throw, any decisions. Because you know why? They're going to take anything that any money they were going to have that they were going to use for other things, and they're going to throw it at episode nine so it doesn't fail. Yeah. They're going to do. They're going to do anything they can to make sure episode nine is the biggest, be- be- bestest, baddest opening ever, and and everybody's going to be there, and they're going to spend whatever money they have to do to do that. Um, and I just, I mean, just from a business standpoint, they have to yeah so i mean yeah they're gonna have to and and, you know they've got galaxy's edge coming up um they can't afford to have people be bored of star wars when that comes out because you're talking again you know a family of four to go to the movie you're talking like 60 bucks in tickets a family of four to go to disney world to go to galaxy's edge you're talking like five grand yeah so who's worth more more? (laughs) yeah who is worth more who would you cast for a live action shira i'd vote for meryl streep okay that's an interesting option um i don't know who i'd cast for live action shira uh, Daryl Hannah, thirty years ago. Oh, maybe. <laughs> uh, I mean, it looks like they're casting Chris Hemsworth right now. <laughs> but yeah, know. Chris Hemsworth is Shira. <laughs> so oh I don't God. know who I'd cast for that. Honestly, I had to think about it. Every time I think of Chris Hemsworth, I think of that freaking stupid dance scene in Ghostbusters twenty sixteen. Oh, that was bad. That was so bad. Was However, so bad. I don't mind Ghostbusters twenty sixteen that much, but that dance scene was Black just really Panther stupid. two is needed. Yeah, right. Like we need some money, guys. We need another Black Panther movie. Yeah, I don't think they expected. They did not expect Black Panther to do the kind of money it did. I think they were expecting like another Ant Man, like because you know, um, you know, Black Panther wasn't as well known as the other heroes. I think they were like, okay, well, this will be like Ant Man level money, and it was like, oh my god, you know, mm-hmm. Infinity. And War immediately level. after that, there was all these rumors about what were they going to put Black Panther in Walt Disney World, and they can't yeah, because they can't. they can't because of the uh, of the agreement that they that Comcast has with the access to these characters. Um, they have to violate their contract to lose these characters at this time. So they're not going to do that, of course. What's going on so they can't. No, they don't have. Streaming. I don't know what's going they don't on. have. They, they're not going to. They can't do that if they wanted to. Yeah. Well, I see you, Scott Pickering. Hello. Yeah. I don't know what's up with the stream. Maybe there's too many people streaming. I don't know. We're going to wrap ours up anyway, though, because yeah. I've got some uh, K-drama Hopefully it'll economy. save it. I mean, if it doesn't save it. I, I know for sure we'll be doing a live. It. We'll be doing a live one on Thursday night. Uh, that's going to be a throwback Thursday and it's going to be eighties Halloween. And it's going to be so much fun because I love eighties Halloween commercials and yeah, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So we'll, we'll try that. We'll try that for, uh, Thursday again, just some thoughts. Uh, just, you know, keep your eyes peeled for, uh, cutbacks at Marvel. I think they're coming because I think every division in Disney is going to start feeling the pinch. They're going to start. I think a lot of places are going to get prices jacked up or they're going to, uh, they're going to have cuts. I mean, or both. So $10 comics. Oh, I don't know if they can go well. I wouldn't put it past them. I just don't know if they can do. Wasn't that, that one X Men? The one X Men book was like eight ninety nine or something. No, it'll be like a, it'll be ridiculous. like a hundred and one different versions of this cover, and they're all going to be embossed and high end, whatever. Reprints, 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 more reprints. Something like Nothing that, but yeah. reprints for the next twenty and it's gonna years. It's going to cost you twice as much. Yeah. So anyway, but anyway, hey, if you like Disney, uh, go to Disney World, go to Disneyland. Yeah, while you can afford it. While you, well, while you always can afford it. There's ways around it. There are um, ways around it. Don't ever, yeah. I mean, people are like, oh, my God. They, you know, they look at the single-day tickets. It's like Disney wants you there for the week. I think I honestly think they jack up the price 
of the tickets uh, for one day to make it like, oh, that's that's way too much. But wait, guys, if you stay for a week, it's only like $30 yeah, still, a day. It's, versus, still, it's yeah. still not that terrible. And you can bring your own drinks and your own food in, so you don't have to pay the overpriced ones. So, uh, you know, but no, no bringing beer or alcohol. They don't like that. Yeah, so, don't but anyway, do that. Yeah, Gotta but, buy theirs. $9 a glass. Yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> okay, so we're going to wrap this up. Hopefully you guys can see us. Apparently there are problems with YouTube right now. I don't know. If I don't not, know you can come on. back and catch it later unless it gets deleted. Yeah, if it does, right. we're sorry. Okay, so we'll talk to you guys later. Hey, bye. bye.